Well, I thank you and welcome again to Draco Beans video blog for October the 19th, 2009. This one I said I was going to talk about wireless activity and how to secure your network and how to set up an accurate network. First thing is to find free Wi-Fi. There's so many areas to have free Wi-Fi. I can go on for hours. If you live here in Colorado, for example, Colorado Springs Metro offers free Wi-Fi on over 85% of their buses, including the Frex bus, which leaves from Colorado Springs to Denver, all the way up to Lich Gardens, which is our amusement park out here. Also, most Panera Breads, Einstein Bagels, your libraries, and various other places. You can go to Google Wi-Fi and find out about some of them, or for info.com. It used to be back in the day that you would use a program like Kismet or AirSnort to find it, and they would call it War Chalk. Now, it's become so popular to find free Wi-Fi spots that no longer do you have to go ahead and steal your neighbor's Wi-Fi and expose your computer as well as their computer, and also your Xboxes. Red rings of death from corrupting connections happen more often than not nowadays. So how to secure your wireless network? First off, make sure you have a good antivirus program and firewall on any and all computers connecting on your network. Two, set up Mac filtering. I know it sounds like a pain in the neck, but if you look inside your owner's manual when you open up your router, your wireless router, it will save you a tremendous amount of headache. Two, your internet service provider may provide you with an all-in-one device, i.e. like Comcast, Quest, or any number of service providers out there. Don't use their router as your only point of security for your network. Chances are people are reaching from it anyway. So, you now have your owner's manual. Links is being one of the more popular brands out there. It's easy to go into 192.168.1.1. First thing, change your password. Don't use your pet's name, don't use your birthday, don't use anything that is word. Use LeetSpeak or do a search on the internet for LeetSpeak passwords. Two, do it by turn off remote access to your router, meaning don't allow other people to remote into your router. Whether you give them permission or not, if they can remote into your router, they can make changes, which means chances are you can be on any number of ISPs abuse lists. Okay, now that that is all said and done, now we go to Mac filtering, which should be underneath your firewall settings of your router. If not, send me an email or post a comment and I'll look up your router and I'll give you some basic information on this. Please, prevent you from appearing on somebody's abuse list. If you need a good IT professional, I'm out there. There's many other people that charge reasonable rates for good work. By the way, you can guess where I'm at today. Can you see me at either the 73rd Avenue Theater or Celebration Works Theater? You can then go ahead and claim the prize. Again, if you can guess where I'm at, what street and what, what store I'm at, I will gladly pay up to $15 for the ticket. Again, Wi-Fi security, paramount. You're connecting to a strange network. It's like sleeping with a strange woman if, or a strange man. If you don't have protection, you're going to get infected. Plain and simple. This is Draco Bain signing off for the 19th. Hope, even though I did not tell you specifics, that hopefully this will give you an idea to look at your owner's manual of your product. If you need help? Give me a call. I'll come by your place of business if you're in Colorado or your home. I'll charge you a reasonable rate. I will educate you if you wish. But please do not allow internet piracy to get you banned from the internet. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you later.